Okay, what is going on, you people? It's Ingrid from AnatomyRacom. Welcome to this channel where we mainly focus on human animal anatomy, digital sculpting in ZBrush and Blender. Welcome to the quick, quick tip sessions in ZBrush and the Slime Blender. So uh, I'm just going to quickly show you how to uh, convert your ZBrush or Blender file your ZBrush file to a Blender file with subdivisions and vice versa. So we're going to start off in Blender. Have a base character over here. So if I click, a very important note to note that your model should have um, poly polygons. L little to no triangles, so it mustn't have any triangles. It must be a polygonal mesh, like this. So proper clean topology. A decent topology, rather. If you use your zero measure, it probably might work also, which is fine. So just make sure you have those squares going on, those polygons, right? And then, what else you need? It's a mark to raise modifier. So if you have your subdivisions and you want to transfer those subdivision details in uh, ZBrush, fairly simple. So if you were importing this from ZBrush. Uh, 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 high mall high poly model you would go to the unsubdivide so i'm just going to uh, show you in zbrush how you would take this um mesh with subdivision levels and transfer that to to be a zbrush file with subdivisions so you click on that select the object and i'm, I'm just going to export it as an fbx i say mail should dex Let's save this mesh and let's say select an object uh, and export SPX. And then let's just quickly move into ZBrush to have that. Okay, so once we're in ZBrush, press the comma key and I'm going to go to the import 3D model and I'm going to desktop and I'm going to locate my mail. Default setting is fine. We have the guy imported over here, so I'm going to do I'm going to click and drag, and then I'm going to press T on my keyboard. Let me just zoom in. Just for the fun of it, I'm just going to change the, 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 this material to matte cap gray. I'm probably just zoom in here as Ted. Okay, so then we have our guy over here. You see, he is very dense. Um, if I press Shift F, you can see how dense the guy is. So. You want to export your very dense model into ZBrush, and then once you have that, go to uh, the uh, Geometry tab, and in the Subdivisions section, go to Reconstruct Subdivisions. Remember, in Blender we had three subdivision levels. That's what you have, and now you you have that those subdivision levels, and then you you can save this as a ZBrush file by Control S. See the project file and vice versa if you want to export yeah like your your zbrush details let's say you have sculpted them in in zbrush if you want to export your details like so you will go to the highest subdivision level and export the fbx file and then where what i showed you in uh, you load the the model then you add a mod to res modifier and then you click on un unsubdivide <laughs> and then that, that will create um, lower lower poly version of your uh, model so right um if you guys have any further questions don't forget to comment down in the section below and don't forget to like and subscribe uh, so you don't you won't miss any of our future tutorials righty thank you for see you guys in the next one